Now, I'm quite traditional. I like a story. I like a narrative. And for me, origin is a bit too Australasian. It's a bit too south of the big hemisphere. For me, it'd be about the Yorkies versus House Lancaster, the Battle of the Roses. It'd be about English civil war. And if I've got any say in it next year, before Seymour goes running off, that's what it'll be for me. But it is origin. And let's talk, first of all, about your qualification to play for Yorkshire. How have you ended up being an honorary Yorkshireman? Well, what a lot of people don't realise, so I was born in a small town in uh, New Zealand called Tukuro, a small forestry town. And when the um, when the, the, the the British, when Captain Cook sailed over to New Zealand and, and they started, you know, acquiring land over there, they gave they, eventually about a hundred years ago they gave all the land back to New Zealand, except Yorkshire still claimed that little bit of New Zealand right smack bang in the middle of the country called Yorkshire, uh, called Tukuro. So I'm from uh, Tukuro, Yorkshire, born and bred. I don't know, married, married a Yorkshire lass, does that count? Yep, of course it does. Uh, Your first re- story counts, that's awesome. The that's re- a narrative. The residency uh, law, about five years, isn't it? it? used to be three, now it's five years. I've been here 23 years. So there's a, there's a couple of things going my way. I've never been able to say any of the words, but Aop. Aop Bocock. Aop Bocock. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And you spent most of your time, Robert, obviously you're known for... Bradford Bulls, which is right in the centre of, of Yorkshire. Uh, you must have felt like a Yorkshireman when you spent all your time there as well. You know what was awesome about uh, coming over to uh, to the UK was that how people of Bradford just opened their arms, yep. opened their arms and their hearts to me straight from the beginning. I just thought, you know, I've always said this. I came for the rugby, but I stayed for the people, and I literally did. I've had um, all my children here, four kids. All my kids have grown up here. I've had, out of the four kids, three <laughs> of them were born in Yorkshire. Uh, although I got to admit, my my son is is uh, an avid All Blacks supporter, but we can knock that out of him over the years. Not wrong with that. A bit <laughs> of uh, history and heritage there. What's it like when you go back to New Zealand to your extended family and all your kids have got Yorkshire accents? <laughs> hey, up, Nana. They can't understand my kids. <laughs> they turn to me, and I have to I have to uh, interpret what they're saying. But it's all, it's always good fun going back there. It is good fun going back there. But um, I, I got to admit, I can't wait to get back here. Uh, life's here now. Uh, like I said, I've got my wife's extended family, and it's all, it's all gorgeous. And look at this on a day like today, <laughs> yeah. the rolling Yorkshire hills in the background, sun is shining. All the boys that we used to, you know, mock out together. I got to admit, I'm a bit disappointed with some of the shapes of these uh, former legends. You're yeah. not kidding. I mean, JP used to be a man mountain. Now he's just a <laughs> string bean. He's only been out of playing rugby for one year, and he's just sort of like withering away. Radders, oh, I can't even. If Radders was lying on the beach in a hole, he'll get harpooned. <laughs> I like it. I'll have to ask you about that. That's awesome. Keith hasn't changed, though. Keith no. looks exactly the same as when, must be all those marathons he's running, eh? Mate, I must admit, there's some players like yourself, Robbie Paul, um, Sean Long. These are players that I really looked up to, a bit starstruck. And I think I might bring my autograph book along on the night. But you've got a radio show as well that's going to broadcast live. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's cool. We've got a show in, uh, in, uh, in West Yorkshire called the Robbie Hunter Paul Show. It's on Pulse One. Um, good fun. All we do is with me, normally Leon, uh, Aaron Bauer, the journalist, uh, we get together and we just, and uh, Luke Robinson as well, when Luke's not on uh, Huddersfield Giants coaching, uh, coaching duty, uh, we just get together and we literally just, you know, take the mick out of, out of one another and just have a lot of fun. And we talk about a little bit about rugby every now and again yep. amongst it, but a lot of it's, you know, we're just dealing with life troubles, you know, like dealing with marriages, kids growing up, all of that sort of stuff. But the great thing about it on the, on the, uh, the night of the, um, the Legends match, we're going to be broadcasting live from Headingley Stadium. So it's going to be a lo- loads of fun, but we don't really want you to, uh, to, to sit at home and listen to us. Get down to Get the down. stadium and just come down and have a load of fun with us like we're doing tonight. Everyone's just having a good time. It's great to get back out running around. The skills are still there. It surprises you. You think, you know, after all these years, a lot of the guys have drifted away from the game, but the skill base is still there. You could argue maybe they're even more skillful than the generation now. Not as powerful or, or, or I did, we're definitely better looking though.